where around, I think, I believe it was the beginning of November, I was uh, informed um, by Father Sopadi after I inquired when I came to Mass here that uh, the equipment that we had donated back in 2016, with hearing assisted equipment for the heart of hearing and, and the deaf, uh, was missing. Uh, we usually service it and um, and it was not missing because one of us had been had in the house like cleaning or whatever so um, after several inquiries with his people and my people we realized that I had been taken away by somebody uh, I made an official report to the police and you know they've exhausted all lines of inquiry and now we are at the stage that I'm asking the community at large to actually, if they remember seeing anything suspicious or, or they know of anything, they suspect of somebody that they were in the area and, and they know about you know, some equipment that could be the one that has been taken here to inform the, the police and, and help us uh, get the equipment back. At the same time, I also uh, like to plead to the, to the people responsible for taking the equipment with them that the equipment is worthless in the sense that it only works with the equipment installed here and, and it won't work in any other equipment, they won't be able to resell it. So really it's, you know, they are not going to benefit, however, if they return it, the heart and the death of people who were making use of equipment is it, priceless for them. They actually is the only way to have the masses accessible for them. And what exactly was taken? What's missing? Well, the equipment that we, gave, we donated well, is basically is a wireless network. We've got an antenna that is con uh, and, and, an amplifier that is connected to, to the, the PA system of, of the church. But that equipment communicates with the headsets. And the headsets, for charging purposes, had a, a tray where they will, the, will be charged on a daily basis, so they are up and running and ready for anyone to use. They've taken away the charging tray with all the headsets. And, that, and, and the surprising thing is that the charging tray and the headsets were the most expensive part of our investment here. If this equipment is not returned, are, they, are these items easily replaceable? Like, how, how would you move forward trying to get that equipment again? Or is that even possible? Well, they're not e easily replaceable. We will probably have to re replace everything, but um, we have to, uh, we really have to review that if we, if we as a charity are going to donate and make this available again, that there are procedures and, and, and protocols in place so it wouldn't happen again. At the moment, we, we have to also consider a different uh, type of equipment that we, we can have it in place in here or in other churches. So at the moment we are back to the drawing board really.